So I've just finished recording the Axis Invasion. I've just loaded back into the game. I'm going to look at my Axis Invasion loadout. So Daniel Olsen has asked me an hour ago as of me recording this, uh, can you show us your shotgun loadout and talk about the pros and cons about it? Um, I don't know what to say really. I don't really put that much thought into it. <laughs> it's all about power. <laughs> so I use a K98 as a rifle. Um, and as you can see, power's maxed. Rate of fire's not great. All these stats are... This is why I sometimes miss, because I have to. I don't care about these stats so much. My aim's not bad, so I'm not worried too much about the rifle being a bit wobbly or having a lot of recoil or moving quickly, because I don't really... I don't want to move quickly while I'm shooting through the iron sights anyway, because it helps with the aim to be slower. So that doesn't bother me. Running or holding a particular weapon doesn't bother me. So yeah, rate of fire bothers me a little bit, but not enough to worry about it too much. It's the only reason I'm not using the Mosin. Um, that and the fact that this thing's just slightly better. Powerful little monster it is. It's my favorite. It's what I've been using most of this time doing these invasions. So yeah, as you can see, there, there it all is. Um, it's just a case of, I want it to be quiet. So instead of using a Mark II boys break, which would actually improve all of the stats, including the power very slightly, I'll take the tiny power hit and put the suppressor on because it makes me harder to spot when I fire, even to a player. Because if it's silenced, you have to follow the trail of the bullet because you can't hear it as, as easily as if it was, say, using a boys break and it's easy to spot my location if I'm far away. So yeah, I go with the suppressor. I go for power. Ah! I wouldn't even trade many of these for the control. Honestly, it's it's fine the way it is. So, for example, the bullet loops I've added for, for the rate of fire. I'd rather have that over the control. So all of these stats would improve the control of the weapon. And I, I just don't care about the control. <laughs> it's all about compensating. So yeah, uh, I've used the rifle. You know, you specifically asked about the shotgun. Uh, that's the rifle, the shotgun. Well, let's look at my MP40. I'm only using this because I was trying to blend it as a soldier. I'm probably going to change it for the next one because I'm dressed in a ghillie suit now and this isn't powerful enough. So I'll do that now, actually. So what I'm going to do, I could use an Irma. That's got a lot of power. And there's my Sjurgen. So I'm going to have a look at this. So my Sjurgen Inertia is Polish Smoothbore, Higgins Cho. I don't even know of this. I don't even look at the names of them while I'm doing it. I just look and go, okay, power, boom. So all of these give power. That one gives me slightly more control, so I'm going for that. But I don't. otherwise I don't care. The power is the most important thing. Same with all of this. Uh, quick load mod gives me more control. Doesn't reduce the power, but it reduces the rate of fire. So this pretty much, this is the order of what's important to me. Except with audible range also mixed in, generally speaking. Although that applies more in campaign mode rather than invasion mode. But yeah, it's all about power. Um, yeah, that's that's basically it. <laughs> that's about as much thought as I put into it. There's no big secret. Um, I don't even think I don't even consider the weapons to actually help me that much. It obviously helps a little bit, but I've just played the last 15, 20 kills, whatever it's been, using this MP40, and it's been fine. And that's half as powerful. So I get a lot of questions about how is your weapon customized and it's not going to work for everyone. So I don't really focus on it too much um, because you've got to find what suits you. So for example, if you're the kind of player that wants to fire shots quickly, having a K98 customized in my the way I customize it is going to be totally useless to you because if you miss, you can't refire as quickly. The, the, the rate of fire is terrible compared to say that RSC, which is a better weapon for someone who wants to be able to fire a few shots successfully quickly. But still, the power. I want the power. The only other option I would probably choose over this K98, and it's one I did use in the last video, is the Mosin. And the only reason I don't use the Mosin is because, again, that rate of fire is slightly slower. And when you get caught in a pinch, it's a bit of an issue. It's not much in it, but it's, it's noticeable for me, because I've been using that K98 for so long. 
So yeah, pros and cons. I don't know. I just I don't really think about pros and cons. I just pick the most powerful and depend on. Um, I'm not going to say skill. Depend on my aim to get it right. I don't always get it right. Sometimes it, it costs me, you know, in that I have to move away and regroup if I miss, but so I don't get killed, and then try and basically start all over again with hunting. Um, but yeah, all of these are pretty much the same. Even the Irma, it, it's just it's just all pushed towards power. So look, those are weaker. I'm going with that one. Uh, these are all these all give better. Oh. Overpressure. Why is that? Why am I not using that? Now I know what I was doing. Uh, the reason I wasn't using that overpressure magazine is because at some point I was trying to get that 80 kill challenge. So I probably would have increased that to make it easier to aim at 80 meters. Although saying that, having the power probably would have been more useful because the bullet drop would have been less. Oh, that's even better. Look at that. That's brilliant. I'm keeping that. So yeah, that's my new that's my new secondary then. Um, yeah, and the rate of fire is still pretty good. It's just going to be hard to control. That's okay. I don't mind that. And then my pistol. Um, same thing. It's the it's powerful. It's the most powerful one that I've got access to in this mode. They're all a little bit weak in comparison. That Derringer probably could be uh, used, but I just find it a bit silly. So, yeah. So, that's that's basically it. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's no big secret. I mean, it's, it's, it's just power. That's all there is to it. Nothing nothing secret, nothing special, no secret source. Just make everything as powerful as possible and do the best you can with it. it depends how comfortable you are um, with your particular control scheme, how quickly you can aim. If you struggle to aim quickly, I would say don't do what I do because it will probably get you killed. But if you've got a pretty good aim and you're willing to take an extra second just to get things on, on track and try and make sure you hit your target, which I don't always do, I reiterate that, I don't always do it, that's the gamble I take, um, then this might work for you. But, I mean, I've only got three rounds in the magazine. The rate of fire is bad, controls bad, mobility is bad. But, power. <laughs> My theory is, having five shots on someone in rapid succession is great but if I can get one powerful shot on them I've got a better chance of killing them and if I don't kill them I'll knock them on the floor this thing still cycles fast enough that I can get another shot on them before they get up so that's that's it basically <laughs> there's not there's not much to it uh, that's it so yeah, I hope that answers your question any more questions about loadout I'll, I'll happily answer them in the in the comments. Um, don't be surprised if I don't know because I change my loadouts so much that I honestly don't remember half of the ones I've used. All I know is that they probably were set up like this because it's what I've been doing since since I've been playing. More power, less drop, uh, more accuracy. So yeah, um, actually one thing I will say is that this is my campaign loadout now. So this is my campaign rifle. This is my favorite rifle in the game, probably. It's a Springfield, and again, it's all about the power. Rate of fire, control, mobility, secondary, it's all about the power. I do quite like the fact that it's quieter. I wouldn't want to go much louder than that, honestly. Unless I was doing a loud run, or I was doing an old school run. Um, but generally, if I'm going for a good balance of stealth and stopping power, that's where I want to be. The reason this is my favorite, it's got the best zoom on authentic, a 10, a 10 times zoom. Uh, I think the K98 has a maximum of six. So that's that's basically it. It's hard to talk about it. I don't really put much thought into it. I just know how I like it.